weekend, I think of fun in the sand, the beach, but I also think of yummy barbecues. Well, it, it is the tradition, but there are some new things that you can try to spice up that tradition. Mm. Ha Eric Heyman is our chef today from Hatfield Quality Meat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, even Good. though this is the start of grilling season yes, for many is. people, you've been at it all year, you told us. Absolutely. I grill year-round. I am not a fair-weather griller, so I'll be out in the wintertime. The snow melts off the grill once you start up the grill, so I'm out. I'm out year round, so this is nothing new. I grew up in New York City, so I didn't spend time outdoors grilling. For me, it was all about the grill pan, and you say it's good to have one in your home? It, it is absolutely good. Now, the weather is supposed to be beautiful this weekend, but you never know, and there will be times when you're grilling where it might be raining outside. So I would recommend having a grill pan so you can bring everything inside, put the grill pan on the stove top, and you get the same grilling effect as you would outside. Okay, so, so what are we starting with? So there? we're going to start with, you know, when, when, when people think of ham, they think of it around the holidays, they think of Easter time, but ham... Coming out of the oven. Coming out of the oven. Ham is an excellent product to grill. And Hatfield has a great product. It's our, it's our individually sliced ham steaks, which are absolutely perfect on the grill. We have an exciting new flavor with the ham steak, which is our sweet brown sugar ham steak. Now, you're going to need a really big uh, bun for that. Thing, yes, right? yes, you will. Yes, you will. You can cut it up or you can eat it just as is. Um, you eat too many, you may have big too, buns, but that's another story. I'm not going to have something like this going on there. I don't... I'm not the touching that one. Day. All right, so, all right. So what you do is you all you have to do is take the ham steak out of the package and you throw it on the grill. That's it. No seasoning. It's no all... season. It's all pre-seasoned. Right. Again, this one is a sweet brown sugar. It's almost flavor. like cheating, though, isn't it, Eric? <laughs> well, you know, everybody's so busy, and hopefully everybody's going to be sharing time with friends and family this weekend. You don't have a whole lot of time to pre-marinate, so you get this product, you throw it on the grill, and all you need to do is let it sit on the grill for about three to five minutes for each side. Once you see some nice grill marks appearing, you flip it just like that. You flip it, and it's ready to be served. It has been pre-cooked, correct? It is, yes, and that's a very good point. The thing you want to remember with ham steaks is, any ham, it's pre-cooked. So you're not cooking it on the grill, you're just warming it up. So you throw it on the grill with about five minutes, and you're done, and you're ready to go. What do you serve that with? I mean, typically when well, I think of barbecues, I think of hamburgers and hot dogs. Hamburgers ham, and hot you kind dogs. of threw me ham, off a Well, ham, I have a plate right here, a plate shot. We have some ham steak right here. You can just eat it with that. Have some nice grilled corn on the cob, some potato salad. You can throw it in a roll if you want. I've seen people put some, uh, some a little mustard. mustard on it. But again, this is sweet brown sugar, so it, it has a nice caramelized effect to it once it cooks, and it's a delicious, uh, delicious flavor. So you don't want to put too much other condiments on it because it could could take away from the flavor of the, now, of the brown sugar. There's no ham and hamburgers. Are the people at Hatfield upset with that? Do you think they just call it advertising? We, we let them or? go. No, we, we, we let them go with it. We don't, we don't, we don't mind that. You so. also brought some new sausage flavors yes, as we well. We have our, our delicious new southwestern style dinner sausage. Many people don't think about sausage for dinner, but dinner or sausage is perfect at dinner time. So we have the southwestern flavor dinner sausage, which you can cook. You can serve it up in a roll like this, like in, a, in a, an am amorosa roll. You can you can eat it plain. You can uh, chop it up into pieces and put it on a, a, a bed of uh, butter noodles. There's a lot of things you can do. My to, mom actually grills that sausage. up with a little um, veggies, veggies, onions, yep, and absolutely. peppers. Onions and peppers. You can do a, a, a kebab and put them on mm -hmm. skewers. You can do it that mm -hmm. way. A lot of great things you can do with the dinner sausage. And like the ham steak, is that pre-cooked as yes, well? Yes, it is. Yes. All these, these items I have on here are all pre-cooked, so you're only warming them up. The dinner sausages will take a little bit so longer. you really can't mess them up. No. And that, that's the beauty of it, because no one knows how simple it is to cook. When you serve it, people think it's, it's an absolutely delicious meal. They don't know how easy it was. You know, and you, you look like a grill hero because you have this delicious meal. Well, that's meal. the thing, too. You have all these people over yeah. for Memorial Day. It's kind of hard to entertain and yep. be grilling all this food. So it's nice to have some things that can get out to them and right away. Absolutely. And that's the beauty of these, like the ham steaks. You throw them on, five, ten minutes, they're done. And you're back spending time with the group and not over top of the grill. Now, so. you can show off some of your expertise when it comes to grilling the corn. I know that's not pretty well, yeah, yeah, we. Yeah. We did a little tip earlier on, the, on grilling the corn, and, and the corn, corn is, an, is a very delicious complement to, to these products. Um, and as I talked about in the segment, you pull the husks back, you put some butter on it, you close the husks, put it on the grill, about 20 minutes. But it's not pre-boiled, so right? No, it's not. No, this is no, the, the fresh, get fresh corn from the supermarket or the, your local produce. So it's going to steam right there in the yes, husk, then. Yes, and that's exactly what happens. Some people soak it, so they'll soak it in water for about half an hour, and that helps the steaming process. But I like... My preference is not to soak it, just put some nice butter and salt on there, 
and it, it cooks right inside the cob. And it, the corn right. over there has some grill marks on it. Did you yeah. take it out and then grill it no, a little it, bit? Or it'll it, actually, if you leave it alone, you'll actually that. get a little bit of grill marks through the, uh, through the husk. So it's absolutely delicious. Sweet. And then hot dogs. I mean, you my niece and nephew eat those all the time. You have kids. Yeah, absolutely. They live off of yes, them. Yes, they live off hot dogs. You can't forget about the hot dogs for a barbecue. These are actually a new product as well. These are our, our authentic style deli franks which deli franks have a little bit more of a snap to them. They have a little bit of a, of a zesty garlic flavor, so it's a little bit of a different flavor profile, but it's something unique and, again, perfect on the grill. And if you're looking for extra ideas on how to cook up all these great products from Hatfield? You read my mind. Go to our website, our website, www.hatfieldqualitymeats.com. We have a lot of grilling tips on there. We have a, hundreds and hundreds of recipes online. So visit our website to get a lot of extra grilling tips as well. And you brought some things to give away to our I studio did. audience. Well, of it's course, we're going to serve everybody. After the show, we're going to serve everybody these delicious products. Nice. But also... What else? We make a lot of friends that way, serving food. <laughs> we also have... Our Fire Up the Grill Grilling Guide, which is, has some grilling tips inside. It has some great recipes inside for all of these products. And, of course, in the back, we have dollar-off coupons oh, for every good. one of these products. So everybody in the audience will get one of these as well. And you can find quality you'll find every bit of information, of course, on our website at NBCTag.com. Thank you, Eric. All right, thank you. It's everybody's favorite place to take a chance. Next on The Ten Show, we take you to Atlantic City, where they're marking a milestone. This portion of Ten, sponsored by Hatfield Quality Meats.